of Let's Point user. In this video, we will cover four topics. Terminology, product flow, product data management, and support. First up, terminology. Variant. A variant is a single inventory item identified by a unique SKU. Parent. A parent is a group of related variants. Parents are also identified by unique SKUs. We'll talk more about the parent and variant relationship shortly. Building. Building is a way of creating and moving inventory through the three stages of FlexPoint product management. Mapping templates. Mapping templates are used to configure and customize data as the data moves through FlexPoint. Think of mapping templates as instructional guides. You'll use mapping templates when building and merging your inventory data. Merging. Flexpoint allows you to combine inventory data from multiple sources into one inventory product. This is called merging. Now that you know some key terminology, let's talk about Flexpoint's product flow. Within Flexpoint, there are three stages, source inventory, product catalog, and channel listings. In the default flow, you move the products from left to right. Source inventory is where your product lands when they import from your sources. This is your raw data feed. Next, you select and build your inventory into the product catalog. In this stage, we recommend cleaning up your product data and customizing it to your business needs. The last stage is channel listings. This stage allows you to update your product data on a channel by channel basis. The channel listings is also the last stop for your product data before it is sent to your sales channel. In summary, source inventory is your source raw data. Product catalog is your space to customize your source data. Channel listings houses and separates your customized source data per channel. Now let's talk about building and how exactly you move the data from one stage to another. For the source inventory, the inventory data imports upon a successful Get Inventory Primary or Secondary source integration. To move the data from source inventory to product catalog, you must build the products. Once you're ready to move the data from the product catalog, you will build the listings for each channel. To help you understand building, we'll walk through an example together. Here we are in the source inventory. Select the SKU to build, click Create Products, and ensure your product builder is set to your business needs. To edit the product builder, click the pencil icon. For most customers, the default settings are sufficient. The two settings all new users should confirm are match rules and source priority. Match rules determine how you merge multiple inventory records into one product. The same item from dis different sources must have a matching identifier such as UPC or MPN to merge into one product. Merging based off of SKU is not supported. Next, scroll to the bottom of the builder for source priority. Source priority determines how we prioritize the data we're combining into one product. Priority is read from top to bottom. You can drag and drop to create the order. You like one source's data better than another's? Then drag it to the top. Once you're satisfied with your builder settings, click Save and Continue. When getting started, the default mapping template will work for you. The default template allows all data fields to move to the next stage. Now you're ready to move the data into the product catalog. Click Create Products. Once the building is complete, you can see the example SKU at the product catalog level. Now let's say you're ready to move the SKU to the final stage, channel listings. Click create listings. Select each channel you would like to add the SKU to. For our example, we'll use the same mapping template for all sources. Click create listings. And voila, we've moved our example SKU through the three stages of FlexPoint. The last step is getting the data to our channel. You can do this via the actions menu in the top right corner. Friendly reminder, publish and overwrite will create new products on your sales channel. 
Relink listings will connect your current listings to FlexPoint based on match identifiers. Now that you understand how product data moves through FlexPoint, let's dive into the product data FlexPoint manages. In terminology, we touched on the parent and variant relationship. Let's dive deeper into this relationship. Here's an easy way to think about parents and variants. Imagine you own an apparel shop. You sell a style of black shirt. The black shirt is considered the parent. The different sizes of the black shirt small, medium, and large are three different variants. The variants will always share all data from its parents. However, each variant will be slightly different from its sibling variant. Still a little confused? Let's take a look at the information you'll see on a parent and a variant. Here we are at the product catalog level. I'm showing you this level because most customization is done within the product catalog. In FlexPoint, we always default to the variant. We do this because you will primarily work with the variants. There are two ways to access the parent. First, by switching to the parent tab in the search screens, or by opening a product and clicking to the product parent shown in the top right of the screen. Quick pro tip, always look for the eye icon to see which parent or variant you're currently viewing. Now, let's break down the information you're seeing. The parent will always house data shared by all variants. Let's work our way from top to bottom. First, you have your SKU followed by tags and title. In FlexPoint, SKU is dominant and unique. Each parent and variant will have a unique SKU. Next, identifiers. For the parent, an identifier is its unique SKU and brand. Then, categories. Please note, FlexPoint only supports three nested categories. This means category two should always be a subset of category one, and so forth. Up next, descriptions and images. Lastly, options, attributes, and custom fields. Options allow the customer to choose from different options. Attributes are details about the product that do not change, such as fabric and custom fields will allow you to add custom data points to an item. Now we will take a look at what you can find on the variant for this product. From top to bottom again, SKU, tags, and title. Identifiers. Here's all the different methods to identify this product in the system. FlexPoint supports SKU, UPC, MPN, EAN, and ASIN. We also have a customizable field known as reference identifier. Next, to the right, you'll see your pricing information. What is housed here will change based on whether you're at the source inventory, product catalog, or channel listings level. This information is followed by images, options, and dimensions. Next, custom fields and custom aggregate fields. The last four fields you see are unique to the product catalog level. Since product catalog is the middle stage, you can see exactly what source inventory SKUs are linked and which channel this product has been built to. These are great tools to make sure your data is connected to the right source and the right channel. Next, builder issues and product alternatives. Builder issues show any roadblock you may face when trying to build this product through the left to right flow. Product alternatives allow you to add SKUs that could be substituted in the event that this product is unavailable for any reason. And that's it. We've covered all of the product data housed in FlexPoint. We're at the end of our tutorial and you've learned all about FlexPoint products. Remember, if you have any questions, our support team is standing by to assist you. We offer 24-7 email and chat support, along with Zoom-based support calls by appointment. Thank you for your time. Be sure to check out our next tutorial, Flexpoint Basic Workflows.